Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on finite element analysis using ANSYS Workbench. In today's session, I will be taking you through the steps in finite element analysis. That is FEA. I will be discussing about the steps by taking examples. Let us first discuss about a day-to-day -day examples and correlate that with the process used in finite element analysis. Then I help you visualize those steps in ANSYS Workbench. The two examples that I will be discussing in this session to make you understand a give a big picture of the process, those examples are crank and pressure vessel. To consider generic example, the first example we consider coffee. So it is very simple that we first boil the water, put a coffee into it, filter that and serve it. Similarly, the clothes, we are going to wash them, dry them, press them and put to use. Similarly, construction of a house will start with the layout, foundation, then construction, finalization. The way we follow a process for these examples similarly in the finite element analysis also for solving any engineering problem there are three standard steps. Those are pre-processing, solution and post-processing. The two examples for analysis that I will be considering is crank and the pressure vessel. The problem reads like this. For the crank, the material is steel and the force applied is 1000 Newton, which is applied at one end of the crank. Other end of the crank is fixed. The goal is to identify the deflection of the crank for the given load. In this case, the process flows like this. First, we are going to import the geometry and that geometry will be assigned with the material. If required, a coordinate system will be defined. Finite element mesh will be generated. Fixity support will be given and the force will be applied to make sure that pre-processing stage is complete. The problem or the finite element model will be then solved with the appropriate solver and results like total deformation, stress and strain will be extracted. So the three steps that are accomplished in this problem solving are pre-processing, solution and post-processing. Let me demonstrate that using ANSYS now. As we have learned in a previous session on how to download and install ANSYS from the genuine source that is ANSYS website itself. So from there now we can go to the start and type workbench, you should be able to get ANSYS workbench latest version whatever is being installed in the computer. You just have to click on that, app is going to open. In my case, the software is already open and this is the project schematic. I will take you with the in-depth explanation of this environment in the coming sessions. But in this session, I will be just explaining you about the overview or the steps in FEA. Press hold static structural from the analysis systems over here and pull it to the project schematic. Double click on the engineering data. Under the outline of schematic that is engineering data, we can see static structural steel that is the default material available. We just cancel this. Right click on the geometry and import geometry, browse for the geometry, crank, we can see a right tick mark here. Right click on this, click on edit geometry in the space claim. This will open the geometry in the space claim. We just visualize the geometry over here, we don't modify that.
on the left bottom we can see starting space claim this is the geometry right click view click on isometric view we will learn more about this particular environment that is space claim in the coming sessions right now we are just using it for visualizing the geometry going back to the home page double click on the model so that the geometry will open in the ansys mechanical for any pop up messages you just have to click on allow access on the left side we can see the mechanical is starting this is going to give us a new window wherein we interact with the geometry for assigning the material defining the mesh assigning the loads and boundary conditions and conducting the solution and post processing the result that environment is called as ansys mechanical this is the one just which is open geometry is being loaded in this environment we will study about this environment in detail in our sessions with more and more examples here we'll just try to understand the flow on the left hand side we can see that project this is the tree outline wherein we have the geometry which is the crank for which under the details we can see that structural steel material is assigned by default we right click on the mesh click on generate mesh whatever we are doing right now is default we are not defining any controls now on the static structural right click click on insert and click on the fixed support over here to define constraint to the geometry we select that face click on apply similarly right click on the static structural insert click on the force select this particular face and say apply the force has to be applied with respect to the components select here components in the y axis that is with respect to this coordinate system negative direction we apply load of minus 1000 newton which is 100 kg fixed support is defined at one end force is defined at another end this complete the pre processing part now right click on the solution solve this is the solution part ansys is going to use a appropriate solution code solver for computing this particular problem at the bottom it is going to show the default progress right now we are not following any professional approach of solving the problem this is just to give you a idea about the steps in the finite element analysis right click on the solution insert deformation total right click insert click on the stress equivalent one meses right click insert click on the strain equivalent one meses strain right click on the solution evaluate all the results now we are going to entering into the post processing phase this is that the total deformation we can see equivalent stress we can see and equivalent strain we can see now for all these three plots that what we do the post processing question comes whether these values are right or not we are going to debate more about this in our coming videos how do we arrive or evaluate whatever the simulation we have done is right or any further improvement is required with this we'll go back to the demonstration of the next example that is the pressure vessel
we click on the static structural again here and move it to the project schematic right click on the static structural rename that and give the name as pressure vessel enter to read the problem statement once again the goal is to identify the stress the pressure applied is 0.25 mpa the material is aluminium thickness is 2 millimeters first we double click on the engineering data default material is structural steel which we may not need for this analysis right click on that click on delete we click on the engineering data source over here and from general materials under the outline of materials we'll choose aluminium alloy and add to the current project click back on the engineering data source aluminium alloy is now added we can close this engineering data window geometry we need to import right click on that import geometry and click on browse we are going to import that geometry right click on the geometry edit in a space claim right now whatever we are doing this step is called as pre-processing step which is defining the material importing the geometry and editing the geometry this is opening the space claim once again the previous space claim window we can close it we don't need that right now yes this particular body is a single body this is 3d wherein we are going to extract the mid surface of this we'll click on design or we click on the prepare extract the mid surface for this one and select the body which we want to extract mid surface click on done the whole 3d geometry is now extracted with the mid surface means this we also call it as a neutral surface on the tree we can see that the 3d geometry of the vessel has been suppressed and we been deactivated the only the mid surface is now active now we go back to the home page from there double click on the model the solid geometry of the pressure vessel has been extracted with the mid surface but ANSYS still remember what was the thickness of the original component the same thickness ANSYS is going to assign for this part in the mechanical that we can see over here on the geometry since the static structural steel is deleted the newly defined material need to be assigned over here that is aluminium alloy and geometry of this particular surface is assigned with a thickness that is a 4 millimeter we can change the unit system from here millimeter ton newton second we can clearly understand the thickness of this geometry now that is 4 millimeter right click on this mesh and generate the mesh once the mesh is generated for those elements thickness is assigned now we can clearly visualize how the thickness has been assigned to this surface body under the display we can switch off the thick shells and beams which is going to on off or toggle the thickness we keep it on just for representation and help for the visualization right click on the static structural insert click on the pressure we select all the faces inside and click on apply the pressure that will be applied to the face let's say is 0 0.25 MPA now since it is being acted from outside we are going to apply the force from inside let me enter it as minus 0 0.25 now right click on the solution and solve 
On the left bottom side, we can see the solution of this particular problem. There were issues for solving this problem. Looks like there are lack of constraint to the body. Right click on the static structural, insert, click on the fixed support. We select this particular top edge over here, apply and now solve this. This should solve the problem because we have defined the constraints and the loads. Whatever we did till we solve this problem is the pre-processing phase. Now the solution part is the solving phase. After solution is done, right click insert deformation total, right click insert stress one mass stress, right click insert strain that is one mass strain. Now we are in the post processing phase, right click on the solution and click on evaluate all the results. We can see the behavior, the deformation, stress and strain and at the bottom over here we can animate the behavior this is exaggerated behavior of the deformation. We'll discuss more about that in the later stages. So this is how the standard procedure that we follow that is pre-processing solution and post-processing whenever we are solving the engineering problems using the finite element analysis technique. I hope this has given a very good understanding about the steps followed in the finite element analysis. Going forward, we are going to pick the examples and study in detail about the strategy, the approach and the commands required for obtaining the solution to the given problem. You can be in touch with me on my phone either by WhatsApp or phone 9481635839 which is India number or you can email me on caewwhelp at gmail.com or you can also visit my channel in YouTube channel GRS CAD CAE. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will meet you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.